<clears throat> so please stand and let us begin by singing uh, For All the Saints. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who you by faith before the world confess your name, O Jesus, Jesus before ever blessed. together in the presence of the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today we have the memorial of the blessed Saint Anselm. He is a bishop and doctors of the church. Before, before we continue our celebration, let us now pause for a moment. We acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you came to call the sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who led by the Bishop St. Anselm to seek out and teach the, the depths of your wisdom, grant, we pray, that our faith in you may be so aid our understanding that we what we believe by your by your command may give delight to our hearts through our lord jesus christ your son who live and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. A reading uh, from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one mind and heart, and no one claimed in that any of his or her possessions were their own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore, wit bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them. For those who owned property or houses would sell them and bring the proceeds of the sale and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, who was also named uh, by the apostle Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite and Cypriot by birth, sold the piece of property that he owned and brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Be 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The response is, the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, he is, is robed in majesty. majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed, robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king, he is robed in, in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king, he is robed in majesty. majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for the length of days. The Lord, the Lord is king, king, he is robed in majesty. majesty. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, how can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this. Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> As I reflect on the reading from the Acts of the Apostles, for me, the reading from the Acts of the Apostles call, calls us to reflect back on our lives, in our church, in our, com in our own community, and in our own family. One interesting thing about this reading is the picture to live together in one heart, and mind. For me, it shows us the kind of love Christian should have for one another. We hear that in the midst of their struggles and fears, they always look for ways to help one another according to their abilities and capacities in the community. So my brothers and sisters, we do leave the gospel when we are able to walk with one another 
with each other, to help one another and care for one another. And also today, you and I are called to be the light of Christ for others. Let us stand together. Let us humble our hearts. Let us help one another. And let us pray that you and I may be one small candle that may light a thousands. Amen. Amen. And let us all stand. As sisters and brothers in Christ, we gather our prayers and petitions and offer them to our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church and all, the, and all believers. May the Holy Spirit Always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our civil and, and religious leaders. May God speak wisdom into their hearts, as Jesus did for Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage. May life in spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community, prayer, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the faithful departed, and our, for our mass intention, we remember today the soul of Teresa R. Santos. May God lead them into the glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also pray for the victims of this coronavirus and all other illness as well. For them and their family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our heart, let us now add our own petitions to our loving God. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all goodness, we ask that you listen to our prayers and answer them according to your will through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, blessed be God, God forever. forever. 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your, your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set up on the sacred altar on the feast day of the blessed Saint Anselm, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblation may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints. You make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and over us are signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and, one, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, death, O Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us now offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Yes. This be with you. This be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. For my brothers and sisters who are watching from home right now and wish to receive the Holy Communion at this moment, and you cannot, but let us pray the, uh, an act of a spiritual communion. Let us pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive your sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, then. Uh, a couple of, of announcements. Um, this week, I'm going to be trying uh, to start again a couple of the Bible studies or discussion groups that we, we've we had. So uh, we'll see how it works. We're going to try to do that uh, with Zoom. And in both cases, uh, after the Spanish liturgy, so once in English and once in Spanish, uh, tonight, after, you know, the Tuesday night after the Spanish uh, liturgy, we're going to try to do a uh, sort of as we've been doing before, a reading of one of the chapters of the Book of Acts, as it were, and talk about it afterwards. We're going to try this on, on Zoom. There'll be more information on on uh, Facebook here uh, before you know, before the early afternoon today. And uh, then on Thursday, we're going to try to do like Alexio Divina in English, because that was the normal time for the English Bible study or discussion group. We're going to try to do Alexio Divina after that for about 40 minutes or an hour. That's about as long as it takes. And it is a reflection or discussion about the upcoming gospel reading. We'll see how it goes. The first time it may be hard, and so it may not work all that well, but by the second or third time, it, it should uh, go pretty well after that. Other than that, we uh, did to the, uh, this afternoon and on Thursday morning, we have the St. Vincent de Paul Society uh, presenting food or gi gi giving out food uh, at the pantry here. So if you are in need of uh, basic items, food items, uh, please come by. It uh, will be open uh, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. this afternoon and from 9 to 11 a.m. Uh, in the morning on Thursday. Uh, our regular schedule as we've been following uh, you know, during this, this time of, uh, of uh, having of the church being closed continues to, uh, to, to go ahead. So on Wednesday night, we'll have the alabanzas. On Thursday evening, after the Alexio Divina, we're going to have uh, exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. And uh, then Friday, James is going to be, uh, James and his family are going to be singing a Compline service. Saturday, alabanzas again uh, with Jose Mesa. And on, uh, fr on Sunday, again, uh, James uh, is doing a second Vesper service with his family as well. We invite you to participate in all of this. And also, yes, Juan Fernandez yesterday played uh, at the noon hour uh, some alabanzas or some, uh, some, uh, you know, some uh, alabanza music as well. Uh, yeah, he'll be doing that a couple of times a week as well. And, of course, we have that uh, Office of Readings thing in the, in the morning uh, within an hour after this Mass as well. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Let us, let us all stand and pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Saint Am Amso, may we strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Joyful, 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 we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, Drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All thy works with joy surround thee, earth and heaven reflect thy rays. Stars and angels sing around.
around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, flowery meadow, flashing sea. Chanting birds and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. 